my pocket Got the one in my bed and she just wanna sleep Fucking up all of the sheets She only wake up to eat Do this shit every week Like why you do that? Crying you wanna be great But sleeping until the next day Why you do that? Got that much in the bank We go out, she order to stay Why you do that? Can't explain it, but you know it working for her She claiming she don't know her love But really she don't give a fuck And I cannot be this shit Hey what's up guys Indian Sensei here welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage and in this video I'm gonna quickly explain how the new link board works and what you have to do to get the maximum benefit out of it. So first of all what is this link board? I don't know if you guys have played some other games or not but in Assassin's Creed Odyssey I have been playing that recently. There is a similar thing in which you unlock your abilities step by step through this board. So in NX3 this is uh, how it looks like. And right now only Minato is having this feature and only he can go till 7 stars. We will probably have more shinobis in the future. So what you need to do is grind roundup and collect the points and exchange them to buy hero fragments and these purple gems. Once you do, then we will awaken the shinobi to 6 stars as usual by using hero fragments. After that you gonna need some hero fragments and the purple gems which will awaken the shinobi to 7 stars. After you awaken Minato to 7 stars you will see an option of link board beneath the abilities button. Now this first board is unlocked by default so it comes under path 1 and we also have path 2 but let's talk about path 1 first. Now if you tap on these icons you will see what stats it gives so unlock the ones you find necessary. If you have a lot of ability points and chakra and ryo then unlock all like me so because the first part is unlocked by default. Now comes the next part. You see it is showing a lock to open. So uh, if, if you want to open this lock you need a key. The key is available from two places. You can get 10 keys from roundup exchange shop. That's it. And others you can get when you summon on the Minato banner and exchange those medals for keys. So for free you can only get like without spending sh uh, shinobites you can only get 10 keys from roundup. Rest you will have to get from the exchange shop of the Minato banner. Also you can either save the keys for next shinobi or use it on Minato. It's your choice. Now once you get a key this lock will ask for some amount of hero fragments, the purple gems and 10 key. Now I'm not gonna unlock Minato because as of now I don't have his kit so I'm gonna save my keys for a shinobi whose kit I will get in the future. But if you want you can definitely unlock it and go for the other boards. This second board also requires 20 keys. Uh, so in midway you, also, you will find two locks which will uh, require 10 keys each and which will give these stats. Same goes for upcoming boards. There is a lot of cool stuff to unlock in these boards. Path 1 has total of 4 boards which require a total of 60 keys. You cannot skip a lock and go to the next one. You will have to unlock the previous one first. So some of the abilities require some extra stuff which is right now been given by login bonus of roundup these red charms and yellow scones and other things so these are only available right now via login bonus now part 2 will be unlocked only when you complete path 1 part 2 requires a total of 70 keys to unlock it fully there is a lot of cool stuff to unlock if you can but you will have to spend a lot of shinobites even if you get all keys from exchange shop and roundup you will get a total of 90 keys which is not enough to unlock all the paths because you need at least 60 more keys to unlock the path 1 completely and path 2 completely. They will probably release some kind of shinobite shop to purchase those keys, I am not sure. Now if you manage to unlock every path like path 1 and path 2 completely, how much extra things you will get for Minato. So this might change for different shinobis but right now I am talking about Minato. So if you unlock everything in the both paths then you will get 40,000 HP, 2000 CP. 6000 attack and 30,000 defense. These are all extra stuff you will get by unlocking everything from these both paths. Now how much POW you will get? So a total of 160k POW more by unlocking everything which is insane. So basically if you have him at like 100k B rank then he will easily reach 260k just by unlocking these all uh, links. So he is gonna be SS rank easily. Along with these stats you also get some other cool stuff like 2 extra ninja tool slots, 3 extra ninja card slot, 30% less damage from poison, 30% less dot damage, 30% resistance to ultimate that is insane, immunity to seal when you kill 10 enemies in battle, some kind of power increase to ultimate cards, 
20% Shinobi matching cards stat boost and 10% purple card stat boost. I mean this is a lot of stuff which you get if you unlock everything in the link board. So to sum up if you are not summoning then there is only a certain amount of uh, links you can unlock. Even if you spend like 8000 Shinobites on Minato banner you won't be able to unlock everything because uh, there are not enough keys. So yeah this is not at all F to be friendly but if you do summon like if you do two multis you can unlock at least at least two locks and give him really good stats. So I hope I cleared things up for you. If you have any questions do comment down below and if you are new do subscribe to the channel give it a like and comment. I'll see you next time. Sayonara. Oh,